What's going on, youngsters? My name is William, and I've been down for seven years, 700 years, and three life sentences. I've been where you're now, got out, and continue to make the wrong choices. But this time, there's no second chance. I'm never getting out. I'm sure you guys hate being locked up. I know I do. And believe me, it's only worse in prison. Imagine being a grown-ass man and having other grown-ass men telling you what to do. It's not cool, man. Another thing, you have to live with another man all the time. It's not cool, man. I advise you to reconsider your lifestyle because this hood lifestyle only leads to two things, death, life in prison. Take the opportunity you're going to have when you get out and do right for yourself and for your loved ones. I hope you guys understand that your actions also affect your family. And it's not fair to hurt them for your mistakes. I'm 28 years old, started education, seriously, about two years ago. I just wish I had taken this path when I was your age. College is what keeps me sane, positive, busy. And I would really like for you guys to take that chance and um, do things different. Friends, homies, I had many of them when I was in the streets. But believe me, your true friends, are your parents, your brothers, your sisters. Don't fool yourself, man. There ain't no homies out there. Being in here, I only wish I could help my family enjoy a woman's company and be free and do things that are positive. But I lost all of that. And now I have to be in prison for the rest of my life. Don't continue on your negative path and stay out of jail. Because it will suck to have another kid be just another CDC number and waste his life in here like I am. Forget about the streets, forget about your homies, better yourself, and prove the system that you could be somebody um, different, somebody better in the world. Focus on yourself, youngsters, and become a better person. Do not waste your, your second chance like I did. Remember, the street life only leads to two things, death or life in prison. You keep your head up, your mind in the books, and away from the BS. You could do it because I'm doing it. It's too late for me now. It's not for you. You had that second chance. The only difference with you is that you can now do it different. You know, take that, that chance you're about to have when you come out of the streets, go to college. You know, um, streets not for, for nobody. And with that said, don't ever come back to prison. Thank you. Think about it. My name is William, and I'm a face of Gogi. Hello, my name is Juan. The purpose of this message to you kids is uh, to hopefully deter you from uh, following down the, the wrong path. I started off when I was younger, like 12 years old. I was in a cool house and everything, but little by little my house started falling apart. And I thought it was cool, instead of uh, dealing with the problems at home, I thought it was best to avoid them by going out on the streets and uh, hanging out with my friends. Little by little, the streets started getting a pull of me more and more. And until before I knew it, I was fully immersed in, in gangs and everything. And at first, you don't think nothing of it. You think it's just cool. It's, it's a regular life. Every, all your friends are living it, but really, it's, it's not the life to live. Before you know it, you're in prison. Like me, I, I was a good kid. I was a straight-A student and everything, but before I knew it, I was in prison. I, I had been to juvenile hall for some minor stuff, but this was the first time I ever really got busted. And uh, I've been down 20 years now, and I got life. And while I've been in prison, I had a kid. Well, my son, my girlfriend was pregnant when I got busted. Never got to see my kid. Uh, I haven't seen my parents in 19 years. So really, I mean, if you really love your parents or you love your family, you, like, you know, a lot of us grow up saying we love our family. And I don't think you really understand what it is to love your family till, you take, till they're taken away from you. I spend lots of nights thinking about them, thinking about a kid. I don't even know what it's like to be a father. And uh, that's one thing that I regret that you really don't know what it is to be a grown man, and all that gets taken away from you by gangs, or just by crime, sim simple crime. I mean, my message to you is, uh, it's not worth it. Stay on the straight and narrow. Live, your, live a simple life, you know, just live a good life. Stay away from crime, stay out of trouble. My name is Juan, and I am the face of Gogi. Yeah.
out. Don't be talking this. I got the tools to live by. My name is Michael. I've been incarcerated for um, six years. This is my second term. My first term, I did 11 years. I wrote a letter hoping that I could steer you into the right direction if you're going down the wrong path. My letter is titled, Words of Encouragement. My reason for writing you this letter is to encourage you to obey your parents and stay in school, have empathy for others, and don't be self-centered. I also encourage you to be self-disciplined and think before you react. The reason why I encourage you to do these things is to, pre to prevent you from ending up like me, locked up in prison. I wish someone would have encouraged me as a teen to do the right thing. I probably wouldn't be here right now. I can only hope my encouragement have an impact on you in a positive way. And if it does, I will remain humble seeking nothing in return. My encouragement is priceless. With that said, I will leave you with, you can be anything in life as long as you put your mind to it. My name is Michael and I am a face for Gogi. Hello, my name is Adrian. I came from a beautiful home, had a great childhood. I know sometimes we do things to impress other people, but is that really worth it? I'm not here to preach to y'all. I just, I just hate to see young people fail. I'll tell you this, if we could go back in time, a lot of us would rather do the right thing. I lost all my real friends due to the streets. Most dead, the rest in jail. But I got a second chance of life I was in a coma for about a month. I'm trying to get my life on track right now. I really want to success in life. I'm trying to be a failure, a loser. I just hope y'all don't throw your life away. Life is great. Look, everywhere you go, there's rules, regulations, and consequences, especially here in prison. So those who don't like to be told what to do, this ain't the place. Stay in school and listen to your parents. I, I know there's times we think our parents tell us things to be in the wrong, but they know what they're doing and saying. I just really hope y'all don't end up in the shark tank. And thank you for your time. My name is Adrian, and I'm the face of Gogi. All right, my name is Joaquin Martinez. This is my third CDC number that I'm currently on right now. I am in High Desert State Prison. And with this number so far, I've been pretty much everywhere. I just came from out of state. So that's horrible. It's a 32 hour ride straight, handcuffed. So if you, you would like that lifestyle on you, then feel free. But I don't think nobody does. You know, I like to travel without handcuffs on me and whatnot. You know, I was raised in a fairly good home, had both my parents two brothers, and uh, I just made bad decisions, chose a street life. Me and my brother grew up together in the street life, and we were inseparable. The day he passed away is the day I came to prison. I kind of lost my mind and did a bad decision of mine, you know? Took some stuff out on some other people. Got me 21 years in here. Um, I have six kids, you know, and now I can't be there for them. Now, currently, I just had a granddaughter that I haven't even got to see yet. And um, my father passed away, so my mother's out there by herself, depressed, stressed out. You know, there's nothing I could do for her but comfort her whenever I could get phone time or whatnot, you know, because we're currently always locked down. But um, this, this is not the place for people, so, you know, I encourage you to make better choices. Stay in school, you know, I'm not your father, not your family member or nothing, but I'm just telling you from my experience, because ain't nobody suffer but our loved ones. My mom's the one going through it, my kids, because they don't have me, you know? Me, I'm fine in here, because I know I made this uh, decision and these choices that I've done, so I, I'm just going with it, you know? I have no option. But you, you still have the chance to turn life around and be a better person, you know? 
you don't want to be a person in blue. You know, this is not cool. You know, it's good color, but it's nothing I want to wear every day. I like to wear regular clothes, you know, good clothes, not some CDC clothes that say CDC prisoner on it. I don't want to be a prisoner for the rest of my life. I'd rather be a father to my kids and a, a grandfather, you know, and, and a good son to my mother, you know, since I'm all she has left. And um, like people say, you, you don't want to be told when you could take a shower, but they leave out that you also got to shower out the sink when you don't got a shower. You know, nobody want that, you know. And, and I like to eat good in the streets. Can't do that in here. I got to wait for my packages and go to the store. All oh, that's pricey. You got to get your hustle on, you know what I'm saying? But I just encourage you guys to make better choices, stay positive, make positive decisions, surround yourself with positive people, and get your life together. Um, my name is Joaquin Martinez, and I'm a face of Goki.